Let me ask a different question here. Um, um, and I have a confession to make. Um, I don't know if you know Paprika. It's an app. It's phenomenal. I'm a very good chef in the kitchen because I know how to execute. I'm an engineer, kind of like crazy like Keith that way, very analytical. Um, I want to hear from Paul how a trend starts because being creative with food and putting together all these amazing um, um, elements together that actually inspire a trend that becomes something that sticks. I'm very curious, Paul, from your perspective, how does that trend with food become viral? And what is the next one that is coming in the next year or two? God, I wish I could answer that question. <laughs> My God. Um, I, uh, we're old school in a sense that, you know, we look for trends in magazines and not just food magazines. You know, we look at travel magazines and we look at, you know, fashion magazines and look at colors and styles and what's, what's you know, being presented. Um, so we really go old school. The, the internet helps. Google is great. The one thing I hate most is Pinterest. Um, <laughs> sorry. They're all, I mean, it's all staged, and someone comes in and says, oh, I want that. Well, you know, you can't have that. They just don't understand that we're working in the back here in the loading dock, and there's no kitchen, and there's no running water, and you want this. <laughs> so Pinterest also, I mean, social media creates trends and stuff. Um, I think what we, trend is a trend, and that's why we call it that. We recycle and we re-innovate things. What we re tend to recycle is ethnic cuisines. I mean, Italian comes in, it goes out. You know, two or three years ago, Vietnamese and banh mi shops were popping up all over Chicago. Now every fifth restaurant is a ramen noodle shop. You know, so what, they come, they go. So it's, it's really hard to say what's next. If I had to predict what's next, um, I think want to. Yeah. with the opening of Cuba, I think, I think that's going to be the next. I think we're going to see a lot of Cuban rums and a lot of Cuban cuisines coming into our country. Con gris ropa vieja. Okay. I love it. Uh, Linda, the world's very big and you're trying to make it smaller, connecting all these big players with, you know, distribution. Um, help us understand from your perspective, uh, what is driving this? Is it, is it the consumer? Is it people like Paul trying to actually kind of entice what's out there and taste? Is it the market or is it some regulation um, or some other actor out there that is actually pushing this um, aspect of, you know, what we are about to eat next? Um, it's both. Um, I think it's it's driven by the end user. It's driven by Chicago Public Schools, Evanston. You know, it, it's driven by the end user, obviously, definitely. But um, what it's also being driven by is uh, uh, the nonprofit world, and um, and that's been really interesting for us. We do a lot of work um, for the nonprofit world, data collection and studies, and really a lot of it is in the higher ed space. So it's very specifically being driven by um, university students. Um, and what we really find trend-wise, what's happening with them is that they have dual and triple passions. It's not just dietary. They're concerned about our oceans. They're concerned about fair trade. They're concerned about um, well-being, welfare of workers. They're worried about emissions. And so um, a lot of them, um, I, the Real Food Challenge in particular, or AC Stars, what they do is they get together and they've developed these platforms for measuring and grading and, and deciding what, um, what they want in their cafeteria, what they want on their campus, what qualifies, what doesn't. And so we're starting to track things we never thought we would track, such as um, how is seafood, um, be, you know, how, where, where does our seafood come from? How is it being fished? Where is the country of origin? What is the flag on the vessel? These are all things that we are starting to track. Um, so I would say that it's consumer driven and user driven, um, but there's a lot of pressure from the nonprofit world and a lot of pressure from young people. 